Well, here's a story that's right up Gary Lezak's alley. A group of students at Lee Summit North High School launched a science project that ended up states away. Kelly Liepert and a handful Ooh. of students created this weather balloon. Look at that. Liepert says the students led the project. They launched it, expecting it to pop and land in Missouri. They searched for hours. And then days of mystery later, they discovered something unusual. How far away was Instead of zooming in on the app, I just zoomed out a little bit wider by chance, and there's Daz in Kentucky. So then we started going into, you know, excitement, but also now, now how do we figure that out? I'm going to be so upset if we can't get this back because I've put so much hard work and dedication into this, and we've been trying to do this for months. Abby said, bring my balloon back, okay? The weather balloon landed in a small town in Kentucky, and it didn't pop. So they got on Facebook, posted in some community groups. Someone in the town sent the weather balloon back to Lee's son. No way. It was like a sign of relief that we finally got it back and that we're finally going to be able to see all of our hard work come together. And I'm really excited for the future years of this. Oh my! You know, I love it. The you know fi five hundred stations around the world every single morning and every single night set up a weather balloon. Do you know that? Oh no, I had no well, idea. One of them is in Topeka every single day, twice a day. It goes up and then we're, and then it goes all the way up to about twenty five thousand feet up, and then it expands and pops usually, and then the instruments fall down to the ground on a parachute, and so they land in people's yards almost every day. Ah! You didn't know that? No, but shout out to the students over there at least. That was I mean, great. You know. Great experiment.